Well, I never knew this time would come, but here we are doing an Imagine It segment in a restroom. A yes. men's restroom. It was the bigger one. Okay. In theory, that's still not fair, but uh, you know what, Carl? What are we doing today on Imagine Well, I want to shake your hand, Tina, for thanks for coming into the bathroom, okay? Okay. And, you know, maybe give you a coffee mug as well. Okay. Just because touch is how 80% of all communicable diseases are transmitted. Oh, perfect. So and what's and on this hand? Well, it's not just, well, I, don't, I don't know. <laughs> you tell me. Um, I know that on my hand, I added some uh, glow germ. It's a product that glows under black light. Okay. And so it simulates having dirty hands. Ooh. So for instance, underneath the light, you can see my hands have lots of glowing stuff. Okay. Let's see what your hand looks like now. Oh, okay, after I that, see your fingerprints, your germy fingerprints, yes. Carl. After that um, handshake, mm -hmm. now the germs are on you. So, you know, one of the things that I see all the time in this exact bathroom is you'll see guys come in and walk out without either washing their hands mm -hmm. or they'll do a quick rinse with water and then walk out with wet hands. But no soap. But no soap. So I thought we'd like talk about some of that process and what happens, okay? Okay, I'm gonna so, be really grossed out, huh? Probably. Okay. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna, I'm gonna load your hands up with a little bit more germ here. Oh. Let me, mm, let me get some more of that glowing stuff on there. Go ahead Lovely. and stick your hands in there and see what they look like. Mm. Okay, so we got a little bit. You know what, I could, I could even add a little bit more of that stuff, because we really wanna have a, a nice, vivid demonstration okay, germ, here. So, germ me up here. Germ powder, okay, get the powder on there. First thing we're gonna try to do, well, and look underneath there, oh, that's perfect. Lovely. Okay. okay, first thing we're gonna try, rinse with just water. So just dip your hand in this so bowl I'm of warm water. Like, oh, and we, we went to the bathroom, mm -hmm. and now we're just gonna sort of rinse and then okay. just shake off the water. I see people do this all the time. Okay. I don't know where they go with the wet hands, but. Okay, <laughs> they look. go back to the exhibits. No, they wipe kidding. them on their pants, I don't know. <laughs> okay, try your hands. Ew. Still on Okay, there. so yeah. The reason you need soap is that your hands are covered with oils. Okay. And soap molecules have a water-loving end and a water-hating end, and they can strip that oil away. Okay. So I've given you some unscented soap over there. Go ahead and foam up a little bit. Give a little bit of foam on the center and the backs of your hands, because remember, that's got germs on the backs as well. Right. Get around the thumb and all that. Go back into the water. We'll do a quick rinse. Now, ideally, we would use the sinks with flowing water, but just to make it easy just for us. Just making do here, Carl, We're making today. Do. Okay. okay. Stick your hands under. Let's Again, see what you wet got. hands, right? Are we wet handing? Wet hands, okay. wet hands. Oh, oh not bad. Okay. But, oh, you got a little bit down yeah, in there. Yeah, I still have some germs in the cracks. In the palms. Yeah. Yep, yeah, and it's around the fingers, in between the fingers, yeah. and the fingernails is where a lot of the stuff Your lingers. wetting is germy. Oof. Yes. Okay. So the reason you want to dry your hands, so mm -hmm. go ahead and dry your hands now. Okay. Your hands are, you know, when you touch something with a wet hand, you're a thousand times more likely to transfer some sort of microbe from either the surface you touch uh -huh. or from your hand if you didn't wash correctly. Okay, I am so thoroughly grossed out, but. Most people do, many people do not dry their hands. So now, just to be clear, I'm thinking about the hand towels at home. This is just a germ towel at this point. It is, exactly, Great. that is exactly right. Okay. Unfortunately, paper towels are probably the best way to do it because you can throw the paper towel uh, away. But it's so bad for the environment. It is, it's a, it's a trade off, I know, but now let's check out our hands. Oh, now Look you are that. clean. I was really filthy before, and you're, you're pretty good oh, too. Oh, I have just a little bit there. Okay, so remember, that's pretty good. Somebody's washing their hand next door in the women's bathroom good as well. Good job over there. Okay. <laughs> remember, <laughs> wash your hands with soap. Sing the ABC song twice. Twice. Okay. Happy okay. birthday, twice. And About, not just like this. That's no, you have this, to do the whole. Get the back. Get around the thumb. Get the fingernails. Get the crevices. Get everything. Okay. About 30 seconds is what the CDC recommends as the appropriate time to wash your hands with soap and water. And don't forget to dry. That is so important. And don't forget to wash these. Yes, of course, of course. Yeah, that would be good. All right, well, Carl, <laughs> thanks so much for everybody watching at home. Hope you maybe took a stop from breakfast, and maybe it's a good time to go wash your hands before you finish the bacon and eggs. 20 20% 20 of people don't wash their hands before preparing food. Even better. Bad. Wash That's your hands, great. people. Wash That's your hands great. before preparing Tony food. Tony would not like that fact. <laughs> <laughs> well, guess what? It is Saturday, and hey, we're hanging out in the bathroom, and Carl and I, our clean, hands are clean. clean. Hands. Yep. We're wiping our hands with this one. That's how you <laughs> imagine it.